That's what happened in Kobe, Japan, on January 17, 1995. A year to the day after Northridge, Kobe was rocked by a quake that hit 7.2 on the Richter scale. The shock lasted only 20 seconds, but it left this city of one and a half million in chaos. Hardest hit were residential neighborhoods built without adequate reinforcement. Hundreds of people were buried in the rubble. The main elevated highway linking Kobe and Osaka was destroyed. Huge sections buckled. One bus driver found himself staring death in the face. Yoshio Fukumoto had driven the same route for years. But that morning, his routine was shattered. I understood immediately that it was an earthquake. At first, the bus started shaking side to side. Then the road itself started waving. The only thing I could do was to keep pushing down the brake pedal. At the instant that the bus finally stopped, the road ahead of us went down. Fortunately, at that early hour, there were only three passengers on his bus. Had it been carrying more weight, it might not have stopped in time. It's a chilling reminder that in an earthquake, the distance between life and death is measured in inches. Elsewhere in the city, fires raged out of control. In the end, it would be one of the worst earthquakes ever to hit a modern city, and the most expensive natural disaster in history. Nearly 5,000 died in Kobe. 250,000 buildings were destroyed or damaged. Just cleaning up the rubble would take years. 